So recently I've had the time to start developing color film at home and I thought I might as well just share with you how I do it. So when I was first learning to develop film, I started developing in black and white because of my darkroom class, um, but I was primarily shooting in color. So just the thought of developing like black and white film was scary for me, so then imag taking that and imagining it with color film seemed even more scary and frightening, especially because like I'd be doing it all on my own, where like before I had a teacher to help me, but now it's like if I mess up, I mess up <laughs> big time. So it turns out that developing color film is not as scary and daunting as it seems, and after the first round I was pretty confident in myself, so I thought I would just, you know, kind of share my experience with it. And because in the long run, if you are serious about uh, doing film photography, it does save you money than having to send your stuff out to labs. And like now is obviously the perfect time to learn with a lot of downtime. Now the most important thing you're going to need is your chemicals. Now I'm using a powdered kit because that's just what I prefer and it's also easier to ship powders than liquids unless it's locally. So you're going to follow the instructions that come with your chemicals to mix them to make a developer chemical and then also a fixed chemical. Some kits do come with a stabilizer chemical but mine does not so you can easily just make your own stabilizer which I will show you later in the process. So first thing you're going to do in a dark room is roll your film onto your developing reel. Like here, it's very simple and you just twist it and then eventually it will just roll itself onto the reel. Now you're going to start heating up your chemicals. I just put it under a sink with warm water running and then I heat them up to 102 degrees. So the developer has to be specifically 102 degrees and then the fix uh, it doesn't have to be exact. You have a little bit more room for that, but I just heat them both up to 102 degrees and then I go from there. Now before I start with the chemicals, I like to do a simple wash, which is optional. You don't have to do this. Some kits it may require it. On mine it says optional. But what I do is I just take the water that I'm using to heat up my developer, which is already 102 degrees, and just place it in the container for a minute without agitating. So after your wash, you're going to pour your developer into the tank, and that is for three and a half minutes, and then for every 30 seconds, you're just going to agitate it four times. After the three and a half minutes are up, you're going to pour your developer back into the bottle with a funnel because your developer is reusable. After the developer, it's time for the fix, so you're going to pour it into your container and then that will last for 8 minutes and then just like the developer, every 30 seconds you're going to do 4 agitations. So your fix is also reusable, so again you're going to grab that funnel and pour the fix back into the bottle. So after the fix, it's time for your wash. Now I just put my tank under my sink and have water running for three minutes and that way the water continuously washes itself out. But if you don't want to do that, you can just fill up and empty your tank seven times and that's about the same. So 
So then the last step is your stabilizer. Now if your kit comes with a stabilizer solution, then obviously you would use that. But since mine does not, I'm just using 20 ounces of distilled water and two little drops of PhotoFlow from an eyedropper. So this lasts for a minute and then at some point for 15 seconds, you're gonna lightly agitate it. So after the minute is up, you're just going to pour the stabilizer back out because it is not reusable. So you're just going to dump it somewhere. But now your film is all done. So after your film is done drying, you're going to cut it and put it into some of sleeves for storage and arch archival purposes so it doesn't get dusty or damaged. And that's basically all you need to know to develop film. Um, as you can see here, I got <laughs> quite a lot. I've had a lot of film that I've just been piled up and haven't been able to send out um, and I just developed it you know in like two days so it was pretty easy and you don't have to wait for the turnaround time of labs. So hopefully this video just cleared things up if you had any concerns about developing your film at home. Like I said before now is the perfect time to get into this because of all the free time you have. Um, yeah, so everyone just stay safe and start developing film.